Well, we left you guys last week on our way into the mountains. That's where we're going now. So I found a town called Adobis, Wyoming. That's where we have the GPS pointed to right now. So that little town is gonna to be on the edge of uh, kind of the mountain range. And from there, we'll see where we're gonna end up. Filled up with gas and uh, took a look and I think there's going to be some forestry land up ahead. So we'll, we'll go check that out. This is a pretty nice town. I bet it gets extremely busy in the summertime though. So we're going to be outside of Union Pass and the mountain tops here still full a lot of snow. I gotta check and see where we're gonna get in on what forestry roads. So maybe this road will find our home for tonight. Be bear aware. Okay. Okay, I didn't find a spot, but I found the coolest tree. Check this out. All right, so we made it through the Shoshone, Shoshone, however it's pronounced, um, forest and I could not find anything there. That land is packed like trees. Uh, it reminded me of Northern Minnesota. It's not very wide open. And even on the sides of the mountains, it was just swampy and muddy. So we are now in the Bridger Teton mountain range uh, Yellowstone is about 50 miles away. I'm hoping that I can find a place to camp here in the Tetons tonight. Get up really early because I'll be honest, I don't want to go through Yellowstone if it's going to be full of people. That's not my thing. So I'll do Yellowstone maybe at like 8 o'clock in the morning. That might, be the, that might be the ticket. So I'll let you guys know if I find something. Otherwise, this is where we're at again. Boy, we put on some miles today. You can see these tires are just caked full of mud. We finally got to a place, but it wasn't easy to get here. This was a couple hours worth of going through these back roads and you can see these tires are just packed full of mud. This is not as uh, open as some of the other parks that I've been to. So there's a lot more driving to try and find a spot. My plan is to leave early around seven o'clock tomorrow morning and hopefully we can get to Yellowstone and 
me bypass some of the touristy stuff, so. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Time to hit the road. So we're just going through the Grand Teton now and this is a pretty fantastic view. Just awesome. This Yellowstone, this is just miles and miles and miles of people waiting. It's a Wednesday at one o'clock in the afternoon and it is seriously miles and miles of stopped cars. That's all it is. Be aware of what you're getting into if you come to Yellowstone. I don't know that a lot of people think it's like this. Thankfully, I'm getting out of here. Crazy. We made it. It's about a 10 hour drive today. So I'm shot, I'm gonna call it a night. I'll catch you guys up in the morning, show you where we are.
All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go on a bike ride. I tried recording outside, but the noise canceling mic canceled everything out. It's so windy. In fact, I put the jacks on the truck, all four of them, put them down because the truck was just getting shaken around like crazy. We're gonna go on this little bike ride. Gonna catch the sunset, the sunrise. We're not gonna move. I decided we're staying right here for the night. Let's go get the bike out. I said it when I was out on my bike ride. I hope I don't get lost. I gotta make sure I can get back home. Uh, took so many loops and different roads. I don't know exactly where I'm at. I got lost and also the GoPro went dead because I was just out for too long. I didn't carry my cell phone with because I left it all in the camper here to charge. I finally got back, it took me a couple hours. Hopefully tomorrow, what I'm looking at is they're saying the winds well I know you can't see but so it's telling me that today we're looking at 30 mile an hour gusts coming out of the east usually the east wind doesn't bring anything good so I'm expecting some storms tonight tomorrow we have gusts out of the west at 35 miles an hour with gusts over 50 that's gonna blow me all the way home. North Dakota, who would have figured? This place, it's one of my favorite spots. This is an overlook right before the town of Medora. It's also a rest stop. So if you have problems finding a spot to hunker down for the night, you can stop here. They got no camping signs, but just don't do anything silly like put out a fire ring or get your grill out or anything like that. All right, we're leaving this absolutely beautiful area. I loved it. Even with the weather and all, I loved it. Um, it's like God basically said, you know what, for all the suckage at Yellowstone, let me show you something cool. So again, it's not that Yellowstone sucked, it's beautiful, it's people suck. Not everybody, but a lot of people. Anyways, let's get on the road. Um, we'll see how this goes. So we just filled up with gas at Holiday and Dickinson. We're gonna see what kind of mileage I get um, coming home with the big camper on. Now it's gonna be a little skewed because we got a lot of wind and that wind's gonna be pushing me. But let's see how good of a gas mileage this big diesel one-ton truck can get. Well, 
we did it. It was 409 miles and we ended up using 29 gallons of fuel, uh, which comes out to a little over 14 miles per gallon. And look at all those forestry roads that we got on. We need the four wheel drive. This truck is sitting on a two and a half inch lift with 35 inch tires and it's getting 14 miles to the gallon. Electric vehicles ain't gonna be able to replace the diesel. sun's going down and we're almost home which can only mean one thing this video is coming to an end so is this road trip but we got a lot more fun stuff planned next week so make sure that you tune back in i want to thank you guys for sticking around this whole time if you haven't make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell as well leave me a comment below did you ever make it to yellowstone was it as packed as it was when i was there and did you enjoy yourself i know i enjoyed myself I just wish that we wouldn't have had quite the number of people there. But again, Yellowstone was beautiful. Well, here we are. We're home. We made it. It's another road trip in the bag. Remember, be kind, be honest. We'll see you down the road.